Hey guys, this time a really simple tip about layer masks. And trust me, you're gonna love this one. Now, as you can see here in this image from Claudia, we used a very aggressive filter to make the smoke pop a little bit more and get a little bit more detail in the wall. And as you can see here, this is before and this is after. And this is actually done with Topaz Clarity. Now, of course, we don't want the effect in the face and the arms. And normally you use a layer mask for this to take this effect out. So go to layer mask. And in this case, we're going to choose reveal all for the very simple reason. Most of the shot, I want the effect on. Now you see that the layer mask is actually white. Now that means that if I paint with black, I can actually take the effect, effect out of her skin. Great. But I don't see what I'm doing. And I really would like to know if I'm correct with my editing. Now, of course, you can use the alt key and click here to actually see what you've done mm, but it doesn't really help because i can't see my image okay so of course you can also press ctrl and this will actually give you a selection but i don't want a selection i want to see what i've done so do deselect if you want to see what you've done now we all know quick mask right it makes everything red there's also something in your layer mask so make sure you're on the layer mask and use the backslash key and now you can see that everything that I painted is actually red. Now this saves me a lot of time and now I can literally see what I'm doing. And my retouching is way more easier and faster this way. And of course, when you press the backslash again, and the effect is on and off. Oh, sorry, you can see your selection on and off. So that's the tip for today. Use your backslash key.